Matthew, the sixth chapter, the ninth verse. It reads, After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Go to the fourteenth verse. It reads, For if ye forgive of men that trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Fifteenth verse. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Look around to this person standing beside you and give him the traveling shoe smile. Yeah, y'all did good. Y'all did good. Repeat after me. A mother's love. A mother's love. A father's hate. A father's hate. One more time. A mother's love. A mother's love. And a father's hate. And a father's hate. Bow your head with me. Oh, precious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for all that's been said and done. We thank you, Lord, for these young people not being ashamed to lift their voices this morning. Now, Lord, as we come to hear from heaven, you said, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit, not the traveling shoes preaching, but what the Spirit yes, has to take to the church. Oh, yes. And, Lord, we're going to bless you and we'll forever praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. You may have this seat. A mother's love. A father's hate. I was at a service one day, and there was this woman who got up with these trophies. And she said, it's approaching Father's Day, and I, and I bought these trophies for men to come up that has been a great father to get a trophy and go back to your seat. She said, I also bought a little bag of plastic wraps. She said, if you feel you have not been a good father, then you can come and grab a little plastic wrap. First man got up and walked down and walked in front of the pulpit, looked over at the trophies, looked at the plastic wraps, and he grabbed the trophy and walked back to a seat. Yeah. Some woman out the back hollered, you know you're supposed to get a rat. <laughs> a mother's love. Father's hate. There's just such a difference when it comes down to mothers and fathers. We just left Mother's Day. There was Mother's Day cars everywhere. Hallmark spent extra money and Kmart and Walmart, all them places ordered extra cars. Father's Day, you get cards, five for a dollar. Y'all want me to Mother's love. Father's Day. There's something about mamas. And, 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 and folks used to write mama songs. I will always love my mama. She's my baby girl. She brought me in the world. Mama songs. R. Kelly remade a song that said, Sadie, sweet Sadie, don't you know I love you, sweet Sadie? Uh -huh. For those young folks, even, even the, the, the gifted, talented, thug life, ghetto ways, ghetto days, too much to cure. He even wrote a song for his mama, and one of the favorite lines of this old time that I've been on this earth is said, Although you was a crack bean mama, you still was a black queen mama. Mama songs. Mother's love. Father's hate. Now somebody decided that we needed a daddy song. Some of y'all probably know some of these fellas because they came out of Birmingham, Alabama. Called The Temptations. And they wrote a song and for the rest of my life I'll always remember that one line that says Papa was a rolling song. Well, he made his hat was his home. A mother's love. Father's hate. I was talking with my son, Dante. And he said, that is something interesting happened in class today. They started asking the kids about their mothers. And, and all the kids told and expressed how much they loved their mama. He said, then daddy asked, how many folks love their daddies and their fathers? He said, my hand was the only one raised up. Now, my son lives in New York, so I'm thinking maybe it's just a New York thing. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me in here. Mother's love, a father's hate. Now, I'm a motivational speaker, so every now and then I go to different schools, the elementary school, the middle school, the high school, and I begin to talk to kids, and I decided to ask that question. How many folks love their mother? Hands went all over the building. Then when I asked, how many love your fathers? 
No hands went up. Found out it just ain't a New York thing. It just ain't a Detroit thing. It just ain't a Chicago thing. It ain't just a Tennessee thing. It's an all over thing. The problem with our children and their fathers, but it's time that we make some changes. Mother's love, a father's hate. And I just wanted to know what is it that children would despise and hate their fathers? And I asked them if, if somebody wanted to just share the feelings why they hated their father. One young man in the back raised his hand. He said, I'll tell you this, Mr. Travis. He said, I hate my father because my father was on crack. He said, he came home and he had soul in the Nintendo. When my mama bought a, 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 the, the PlayStation, he sold a PlayStation. When we got an Xbox, he sold the Xbox. That's why I hate my daddy. I said, is there another one? Another young man stood up. He said, I hate my daddy because I was walking to school in the rain. My daddy had me in his car with his girlfriend children in the car and didn't even stop to pick me up. Oh, yeah, I hate my daddy. Y'all hate me. Mother's love, a father's hate. In the, in the beginning of the classroom, was the young lady who put her hand up. She said, well, tell the truth. I'll tell you why I hate my daddy. She said, my daddy was a drunk. And at night, he would forget that I'm his daughter and think I was his wife. Y'all don't hear me here. Right. And, and he would put his hand where no father should put his teenage daughter on. Oh, y'all don't hear me here. Right. Mother's love, father's hate. And finally, a young man in the back, he stood up, he said, I hate my daddy and I'm going to kill him. He said, I watch my daddy. Tell my mama and ask her for a glass of water and because she didn't move quick enough. He took a glass and he threw it and he hit her in the back of the head. And blood was running down my mama's neck and my daddy wouldn't even let her go to the hospital. He said, tell the truth, I told myself, when I got a little bigger, when I got a little stronger, when I got a few more muscles, I was going to kill my daddy. A mother's love, a father's hate. Why? Why is it that, Travis Shoes? It's because we got to go back to that original father. That's why I took you to Matthew 6 and 9. I said, after this man, therefore pray ye, our Father, which are in heaven. That good Father. Say, they never leave you, nor forsake you. That, that, that good Father. Then when I went to the 14th verse, I said, for if he forgive me their trespasses, so what I want to tell you, young folk, you older folk, it don't matter who you are, if there's unforgiveness in your heart, you got to let it go. Let me tell you right now, ain't nobody in here perfect. I don't know about you, but Kevin Shoes made a whole lot of mistakes. Still making mistakes. But I refuse to let mistakes hinder my life. No matter what you've done in the past. No matter who you've done it to. There comes a point in your life where you've got to say, Lord, forgive me. Yes, 